Oh no, I got it turned off. So close to a cool shot. Oh, in that case, welcome to the video. What is up today, YouTube? We have got quite the setup going on out here. We are taking old inner rims that are black and stained and that you would never think would come out clean. And we are turning them into outer rims for our set of white trains. So we got <laughs> quite the system going on out here. They start like this, and then they kind of get blown off and they get a little bit cleaner. And then we put some of the good stuff on them and give them a little sand. And then we blow them off and we sand off all the little spots that you can still see there and blow them off again. So they're not gonna come out perfect. Obviously. but they're gonna come out better and they're gonna work for what we're using them on so these guys need like one more round and we still got all those to do so let's get to it so here is the pup of our old white set of steel trains the lead is currently inside the shop with all the rims and tires ripped off and that's what we are doing. We are replacing the outers that we replaced, I don't know, three years ago, and they already look like this. So we found a whole bunch of inners and we're cleaning them up to let them go on this old set of trains that we only use for a couple weeks a year. And we're cleaning up the rest of the trailer as we're doing this, of course, as we always do. But this will make it look a whole lot better and a whole lot newer than what we're working with right now. Aluminum all the way around, and they're actually turning out amazing, I can't believe it. Give me like a new set of trailers, i tell you what. So this is what we're starting with. Brake dust, dirt, spray paint, whatever. And then we make them like brand new again. Well, brand new, but unpolished. And there's a bit of a comparison of a before and an after quite the difference I'd say but you can still see there's a little bit of stuff it's not perfect but it's better than that all right so I saved probably one of the toughest ones that we had to do for us to do and we are going to use 523 not 503 this will kind of make it like white and it kind of makes it just a little more aggressive the 503 will turn like already polished aluminum clean but this will like eat stuff right off so we're gonna start with power washing it and we got our own pallets because why bend over and work on something work smart not hard okay dokie oh, here goes nothing oh yeah Okay, that's enough, you get the idea. So the power washer does about 50% of her. It gets quite a bit of the stuff that's like on there, all the salt and sand and brake dust. It gets it all off, but all this stained stuff is where the acid really comes in and helps, so I'll we'll give that a try next. This is the 523, remember not 503 so you let it sit on there for I don't know a minute 
and then I take it and I scrub it with a Scots or Scotch Bright pad buff pad type deal. And that's what really gets her going. So let that sit and eat. And I'll just do like a real quick pass with it just to like get it in there and then blow it off. Oh, now it's out for a sec. And you'll take her. Oh, I might have just saved us the worst one to do, but that's all good. And you start scrubbing and scrubbing like your life depends on it. But yeah, these ones <laughs> definitely saved the worst one to do because it's going to take a bit. Oh yeah. So what I do is I give her one good scrub real quick and then blow it off with the power washer and then go back at the parts that really need it. And now we got her all sanded down just like pretty rough and I'll blow her off and we will see how she looks. Alrighty. And that's what the first round looks like. So you can see there's still like a bunch of darkness at the top, which you will spray again with your 523, and then you'll sand it again until all that's off. But all this inside looks like new. And you could literally send that out to get sanded down and polished if you wanted, but we're not because we're putting them on on an old set of trains. Oh, we're gonna put acid all over this mother. That's the old final sand, which should get the rest of her off. And if there is like little spots left, you can keep on repeating until it is perfectly clean and good to go. And that's just about got her. I'm gonna go get a brand new pad and try to get these last little bits off of there. But I would say that's pretty much good to go. If you wanted to send that to a polishing company, they would sand the rest of that off and get her all polished up. Oh yeah, that's the rest that I've done today. Beauty. And that most certainly looks good enough for me. Got a bit more of it out, but not really. But it is just good enough for what we're about to use them for. Like I said, send these out, get them polished if you really wanted to, but that is not the point in what we are doing here today. All right, so I saved probably one of the toughest ones. That the old 523. And make sure you scrub it. Don't just blow it on there and expect everything to just fall right off. You gotta get your hands a little dirty and make them sting. These things, oh, it's painful stuff. So watch out. And that's how they're done. So we got these done. All these to go, and with the power of editing, they will all be done. Check that out. All dirty old inners are now pretty clean outers. All of them. All of them. Nice and clean. And now to put some tires on and to throw these on some trains. Alrighty everybody, here we are. We got the pup backed in finally. The other trailer is out painted and has its new rims on it. We are doing the same to this trailer, but this trailer we're actually replacing the back of it. It's all cut apart and you'll see in the next video about these trailers. Here it is, big old hole. Not really sure if we're keeping the top. It looks like they are. I don't know if this isn't my plan, this isn't my deal. I just keep coming in here and seeing what's done next. Anyways, something else I gotta show you before we end this video. So here's our new Dump trailer we just got, obviously a little faded. Well, let me show you something that I just tried. I took this brush with some auto saw in it, scrubbed it a couple times and I got this. So that's gonna look pretty good. It's gonna take a long time to do both sides and the back and the front, but it'll totally be worth it. Check that out, that's not too bad. And that didn't even take that much time. That one I barely even touched, just wanted to see what it would do, and then that's what it actually is. So, it 
it's definitely gonna come out pretty good. But that's for another day. Appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And make sure you're subscribed for more. We'll see you on the next one.